Right now we have an unlimited supply of wild rosemary and some other herbs. And we also have quail. And today we're going to make a dish with the two and it's going to be amazing. So stay tuned. So to begin, we're going to take our quail and we're going to make sure that they're clean. And a good way to do this is to get a blowtorch and we're going to make sure there's no leftover feathers or hairs or anything. It'll singe everything away. Just keep everything nice and neat. You want to make sure to get every side of the quail as well. And you don't want to keep the blowtorch too close. We're not cooking the quail yet. We're just singeing off the hairs. So keep that in mind. So once you've done this to all of your quail, we're going to go forage for some herbs. The types of herbs that you can find will vary depending on your location. And we are fortunate enough to find wild rosemary, thyme, lavender, things like that around where we live. So we tend to try and use them for cooking as much as we can. Okay, so we're now back in the kitchen. And I'm using a mix of wild herbs that we foraged. And I also have some herbs from the garden as well. I'm going to use most of them for the cooking, but I'm going to save some for the presentation. So I'm just cutting up some wild fennel that I found. It's dried, but uh, it still has uh, quite a strong flavor. Next, I'm going to add some of the rosemary that we found. I also have a little bit of uh, lavender that I found as well. A little bit of wild thyme. A couple of sprigs of sage. This is from the garden. So we're going to pack this baking tray full of herbs, and we're going to use this to cook the quail. So when this is roasting, all of these herbs are going to perfume the quail. And it's going to be a very unique flavor. It's not going to be too strong. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of olive oil on top of everything so it doesn't burn. So now it's time to start our glaze. So normally when you're making a glaze for poultry, like duck, chicken, turkey for example, you cook the bird first. And this is mainly because glazes have a high sugar content, and if you cook them too long, they tend to burn. But because quail are so small, I find it's better to apply the glaze in the beginning, and you'll have perfectly caramelized skin every time. So I'm melting about 125 grams of butter, or half a stick of butter. Then I'm going to add one clove of crushed garlic. And then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of honey. Once you add the honey, turn down the heat. And you should swirl the pan every once in a while, or stir it. Otherwise, the honey and the butter might split. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now I'm going to add a sprig of lavender. And we're going to cook this for about a minute. So after about a minute, you want to turn your heat up to full. And we're going to add our quail. So remember to keep swirling it around or stirring it. And then we're just going to put our quail in. Also please note that the glaze is very hot. It's much hotter than it looks because it has the high sugar content and you can get some nasty burns, so keep that in mind. So we're going to keep the quail in our pan for about a minute or two. We're not really cooking the quail yet, we're just applying the glaze. So around now you should preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, or 355 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so our quail are just about ready to go in the oven. 
So we're going to take our quail now, and we're going to place them in the tray full of herbs. So I've left the glaze on low heat for about another two or three minutes, and it's got a nice dark brown color. It's perfect. So we're going to spoon on this leftover glaze on top of the quail, right before they go in the oven. Again, please be careful, this is super hot. It's way hotter than it looks. Okay, so we're just gonna spoon this on. And don't be stingy with it, just put as much as you can all over. Okay, so when your oven is preheated, cook these for about 10 minutes. So while those are in the oven, we're gonna prepare a plate with all the leftover herbs. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and our quail are done. Just look at that color. Perfect. So I can tell just by looking at these that they're definitely cooked. But if you're not sure and you'd like to use a thermometer, that's fine as well. They should be 74 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you are. We're ready to serve. Look at these. When you put this in the center of the table, it's going to fill the room with an herb aroma. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.